Hello there, right here you see that I have icons on my desktop. It doesn't look all that nice, uh, it looks kind of ridiculous actually. I think icons are kind of annoying on the desktop personally. And I'm going to be showing you how to use fences to hide your icons and maybe to consider using it even if you don't use it in the technical way which is you right click, you create a new fence and you name the fence and then you drag your icons into that to create an organized thing. I'm just completely opposed to icons in general. So, I have icons here, and I want these icons here because this is icons that I'm using, or folders that I've been using. Like, these are videos that I'm going to upload to YouTube kind of thing. And... I want to have them here so I can have quick access to them and I can have them in easy order without filling up another place. And here I'll remember to delete them. But in the meantime, I don't like to see them when I reboot my computer or something. So with Fences it has a neat tool where if you hit ESC, you can hide them. Or if you double click on your desktop, you can hide them. So as you can see, they're gone. I can pretend that I'm working here, and I have no icons there. And yet, if I go to upload those to YouTube, they'll still be on my desktop. Uh, they'll still be an easy place. And if I just want to go back and quickly open something up, I can go and open that folder, and there it is. So that's what I'm using Fences for. If we go under the Task Manager here and take a look, uh, you'll see a Fences... let's see... I don't even see fences.exe. Wherever it is, it should be here, but I don't see it. Um, but it's very, very low on resource usage. Um, so it's not something that's going to slow your boot down or anything. You'll boot up, you won't see icons. Uh, it'll basically keep your desktop clean. And if you do like it, you can use it to create fences and to put your icons in the fences. Um, you can also use it if you want to keep everything even more organized. You can uh, create a fence, put the icons in, and then once you've got the icons in, you can just hide that so it's even more organized. But I'm not using a fence to keep the icons in a good place. I'm using the fences to hide my icons. So give it a try if you put things on your desktop and you don't necessarily want to see them and they're not necessarily programs you want to use but they're just files. So give it a try. Alright, thanks for watching everybody. Bye bye.